Hey friends, this video is part of the Christmas Martini Challenge, hosted by Rob at Rob's Home Bar, Vino at 60 Second Cocktails, and David at Booze on the Rocks. This is my first time participating, and the rules are simple. Number one, it has to be a drink served in a martini glass. Number two, it has to be something festive for the holidays. And number three, we need to share the hashtag Christmas Martini 2022. Now, my wife's family comes from Trinidad, so I was inspired to create a drink that celebrates the flavors of the islands. So today I'm going to make for you the Christmas Martini. Now let's check it out. The star of this drink is a Caribbean punch called Sorrel. This is a special treat enjoyed for Christmas and New Year's. It's made using the Sorrel flowers. You may also see them sold as hibiscus or Jamaica flowers. To make this, add one cup of the Sorrel to a non-reactive pan, along with a cinnamon stick, four cloves, and six cups of water. Bring it to a simmer and then turn the heat off. Allow it to infuse for at least two hours and then strain out the solids. Dissolve one cup of sugar into it and then your sorrel is done. Now let's get ready to build our drink. The first thing I'm going to do is chill my martini glass and add some ice to my mixing glass as well. I'll be using gin and orange liqueur to play up the spice and floral notes from the sorrel. Measure out two ounces or 60 milliliters of the sorrel. Along with two ounces, 60 mils of gin. Three quarter ounce of Grand Marnier. Now everyone's got a little bottle of Angostura bitters hidden in the cabinet, but did you know this also comes from Trinidad? Four dashes of bitters. Give it a good long stir to blend the flavors and also add some dilution. Then we'll dump out our martini glass and strain the cocktail into it. For the garnish, I'm going to use an orange wheel. And there you have the Christmas Martini. Mm, I like that a lot. This really is a fantastic drink. The tart fruitiness of the sorrel interplays nicely with the botanicals of the gin, and then you get more of those fruity notes from the Grand Marnier as well. But then that spiciness of the cinnamon and the clove come through, and that's only accentuated by the Angostura bitters as well. All in all, it makes for a very delicious drink that tastes like it's inspired by the Christmas season. So there you have the Christmas Martini 2022 challenge. Thanks again to Rob, Vino, and David for putting this whole thing together. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe. I hope that you'll stick around and see some more food and drink recipes that might inspire you. And I just want to wish you all a happy and healthy Christmas. Cheers.